Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on how to connect your Synology NAS device to a VPN provider. Uh, there are several reasons why you would want to do this. So if you fall in that boat, just stay tuned and we'll uh, walk you through this. It is a fairly simple process and for today's video, I've chosen NordVPN uh, as the provider to walk through this tutorial but it is a fairly universal tutorial as long as you choose a provider that supports OpenVPN. So without further delay, let's go ahead and jump right to it. The first thing you're going to need to do for this project is to choose the VPN provider uh, that kind of fits what you're looking for and your requirements. So there are literally tons of options out there for VPN uh, services, but there are some also some very good and well-written articles that kind of highlight some of the benefits and some just general tips to choosing a VPN provider. I chose NordVPN uh, kind of for this test as they're kind of recommended as a general purpose uh, VPN. And since I do a wide range of things on my VPN or on my Synology device, I figured that'd be a good starting point to see how uh, they performed and just kind of get started and dipping my feet into using my Synology device as a kind of a local server for a VPN provider. I'm just doing the trial on the one month uh, plan, which is pretty darn expensive at $11.95 a month. But if you go to the one year or the two year uh, plan, they do get a lot cheaper, ended up uh, with the cheapest being $3.29 a month, which isn't too bad. So once you've chosen uh, your provider, and one thing to keep in mind is to choose one I personally recommend that supports the OpenVPN protocol. Uh, it works really good with the Synology uh, NAS, as well as uh, being one of the better protocols out there for VPN services. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you're searching for uh, your VPN provider. And then once you've done that, we'll go ahead and regroup back on your Synology uh, main screen. All right, so now that we've chosen our VPN provider and created an account with them, we're now ready to progress with the next stage of this project. So click on your control panel and then progress to the uh, network state page. From there, click on the network interface tab and then click the create button to create our VPN profile. We're gonna be using the OpenVPN uh, protocol uh, and I kind of mentioned that in the previous segment if to kind of keep an eye out for a provider that does support OpenVPN. And if they do, more likely than not, they have a configuration file that you can download from their site. You might have to search for it, uh, but they should offer that on their website to download. So go ahead and find that. I will put a link to that for NordVPN if you end up using that. Um, and if there are any special requests for help to find that uh, from different services, just leave those in the comments below and I'll help you out to the best of my ability. But we're gonna go ahead and progress from there. The profile name is whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna actually call this one NordVPN. Uh, because I actually might end up setting up multiple VPN profiles because you can disconnect from one and connect to a different one and do kind of some like bandwidth studies to see which one actually works best for your use case. So naming it something easy so you know which one's which uh, does make a lot of sense unless you're only going to be setting one up then you can just call it VPN connection or whatever you want to really. Your username and password are going to be your username and password for the VPN provider. So I'm going to enter that next. Uh, but first thing I'm going to do is import the OpenVPN file. So here in my downloads, I've downloaded a big zip file from Nord uh, that essentially has all of their uh, VPN servers. There's like over 2,000, I think, uh, that I counted earlier. And you'll see that essentially for each server, there's two different options. There's a TCP and a UDP uh, option for each of them. So I'm just going to click a random server in the US and use that uh, configuration file. Uh, you can choose whichever one you went to. There's The first two characters are essentially your country. Uh, I don't know if all of the providers set it up the similar, but for at least for Nord, the first two characters are the uh, country, and then the next three are like the server number. So going from there, we're gonna enter our, our username and password from the VPN provider. And then uh, after that, we'll catch back up uh, after this quick break. All right, so after entering your username and password and uh, proceeding to the next page, you'll be brought to some ad more ad advanced settings. Go ahead and check all these, and then we're gonna click apply. Your VPN provider should show up down here and it will be in the disconnected state. All we're gonna have to do is hit connect. It will take a little bit of time to connect, but after it's connected, it should say 
uh, connected just like your LAN connection will. And you can have multiple LAN connections connected at the same time and create a bond. Uh, that's kind of a subject of another video, but it is something that you can uh, do. So now I've already uh, have it connected, uh, connected pretty quickly. And you should start to see uh, some data here of the sent and received um, bytes and uh, kind of the connection time. So uh, you can check that from time to time just to get a rough gauge of how much data is actually being transmitted through the VPN. So all in all, everything's set up now. Uh, it was a pretty easy um, pro process, uh, but now I am now connected to the NordVPN. I'll be testing that for a little while and uh, providing some feedback. So if you're interested in kind of hearing more about my experience, I don't know if I'll actually make a video on NordVPN specifically with my Synology, um, but do check out my Twitter and I'll try to provide any updates there if I encounter any issues. Or I might just uh, give it a quick, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, so follow me on Twitter uh, to kind of stay tuned uh, for that. And the, honestly, that's pretty much it. It's just a pretty simple process. It might vary a little bit based on from provider to provider. But if you chose one, uh, like I recommended with OpenVPN and they have that configuration file, it is a very simple process. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did give it a big thumbs up, I greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're not already an existing subscriber, smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. I do a lot of videos on things, topics ranging from 3D printing to Synology to cloud gaming. So if you have any specific interest in uh, something like that uh, and have any suggestions for videos for me in the future, just leave those in the comments below. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, Zach out.